bustin' like a pistol, bustin' like a pistol Pull up little baby bouncing on my dick Dirty round clip, bustin' in his shit Roll him talking down, I'ma bust him in his lip Baby keep the drink, you know the fuck I got a dick everybody today I'm back with a different type of video um, y'all really thought that I couldn't do a hair video but here I am doing it doing the damn thing so a lot of you guys have been asking me how I curl my hair I don't know why I really don't think it's like anything crazy but I'm gonna show y'all today so if you guys want to learn the tea learn the secrets go ahead and keep on watching Poppin' everybody, today I'm back and I'm gonna be doing a hair tutorial. I was like, a lot of you guys have been asking me how I do my hair. It looks fucking ratty and gross right now, but it won't in a second, trust. Actually, in like 30 minutes, but whatever. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me how I curl my hair because I said I use a flat iron and you guys were all like kind of shook. So I'm gonna be showing you how I do my hair today. I just do like simple curls. I really need to like branch out with my hair, but this is what I'm going with right now. So I washed it this morning. I let it air dry and this is what came out. My hair is naturally wavy with like more curl than wave, except I bleached it twice and then dyed it and then dyed it again. So it's kind of dead. So it's lost all of its texture. Thank you to everybody who's been saying that my hair is dead in the comments. You guys really, you know, make my day. I don't get why people come with that. They're like, Victoria, your hair is so dead. I'm like, bitch, what are you going to do about it? Like, you think I don't know that? Like, it's my hair. I grew that shit. Like, I fucking know. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started. So I really only use, like, a couple things. Let me take all the hair off my hairbrush, because that's gross. Use a hairbrush. Duh. Like, a couple of the little things fell off, so it, like, stabs my head, and it really hurts, but whatever. I use a little wrap comb, and I, this is the Silk Elements Strength and Silk Coconut Heat Protection Spray. I love this. It smells so bomb so 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 bomb and it makes your hair super super soft and shiny after and then the flat iron that i use is a remington flat iron i'll leave the name of it down below it's like i don't know it's scratched off so i'll leave the link to it down below i got it from target for like 20 bucks so it's nothing too crazy i'm gonna start off by parting it where i normally do which is like on this side around here yeah and you guys will see like once i brush it out it is super frizzy so i can't just like walk out like this i do like section by section so i start with two and then i split it into smaller pieces i'm gonna go ahead and spray it i do like a pretty solid amount of heat protector even though it's kind of pointless now because my hair is already dead but whatever brushing it through and then i'm going so as you guys can see i have like a bunch of little hairs over here that are super tiny so I kind of just get my first piece and I twist the other. Hmm. Mm -mm. Okay, so if you guys didn't see that, I grab a little piece, I put the rest of the hair to the side, and then I put the flat iron on it. And then I go a little bit, and then I just start twisting the flat iron, and go slow, and pull the hair as I do that. So I'll show you guys again. I know it's a little bit hard to see because my hair is darker, but sometimes I go and straighten it first real quick. And then I get it, and twist, twist. And then at the end, I just let it up a little bit. I like to take smaller pieces on the bottom just because the bottom like tends to um, like lose its curl first. So I like make them tighter. I'm with the first section, so that's what we're working with. Spray it and then I put oil through it after, but then I grab another piece, I go from the back and then I just start working my way up. So I separate that. This is a big ass piece. So I have the back of my hair here, 
I'm gonna separate it again, cause why not? Spray this. Brush it out. Using a flat iron to curl your hair, I like to use the one the one inch one if you use like a bigger one you'll get a different like type of curl and sometimes what happens is if you leave it on too long or the flat iron's too big it'll look like creases in your hair and not like a curl so that's why you want to make sure you get the right size for this and get the next section of hair so it's pretty much like just mastering i'm not even mastering it's not even hard it's just getting like the technique right you want to make sure the flat iron isn't too hot either because if it's too hot then you will get creasy hair. Excuse me. Sir. Don't look at me like that. Okay, and it'll kind of be easier to see how I do it now because the hair pieces are longer. So... Let's do this again. Grab a piece, make sure it's all nice and flat. When I go towards closer to my root, I just like to keep it straight. And then I go turn it and begin twisting it. And I hold it for a second and then pull it down. And bam, there we go. So now that I'm done with this side, I'm gonna go ahead and get my hair oil. This is the Majestic Oil, and I'm gonna rub this through just to kind of loosen it up and give it a little bit of shine. Oh my god, what incarnation? Okay, there we go. Give it a little bit of shine and make it look a little bit nicer. Break them a little bit, shake it out, whatever, whatever. I really don't have like a lot of technique when it comes to my hair. I kind of just do whatever and hope that it comes out fine. And if it doesn't, then it'd be like that sometimes. Whenever I'm like so close to being done, I get super tired. Like my arms start hurting. This is actually like a workout for me. If I could pay someone to do my hair all the time, a personal hairstylist, you know I fucking would. I'm pretty much almost done. I just have this little piece to do. And then I'll probably take a shower. I know it's weird that I do my hair and then I take a shower. Um, I'm aware of that. I'm trying to play cup pong right now, but why am I bad right now? Ugh. Tragic. Little guy passed out, bro. <laughs> what? You okay? Oh, it's wrong. He's so cute. Even though he's a dick to me, but whatever. And then I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and shower. I do lay my baby hair, so I'll show you guys how I do that once I'm out of the shower, but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my flyer so that it doesn't burn down my fucking house. And I will hit y'all in a second. All right, you guys, so I did my makeup and I didn't do it on camera. 
and I accidentally did my baby hairs as well. I did it on Instagram live, so if you guys are watching that live, you know the deal. But my baby hairs are like really simple. I just like comb them a little bit and then gel them down. The gel that I use is this one. I just got it at Walmart, like it was the first one that I saw. It's really nothing crazy. That's pretty much all I do. I just add some Moroccan oil here and there whenever it feels a little bit dry, which is like all the time, so yeah. So that was pretty much it for my hair tutorial. I've never done a hair video before and I don't really watch a lot of hair videos. So I'm really, really sorry if this sucked. But um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I fucking, was that a gunshot or a firework? We gonna find out. Bye.